this area over here is called the formula bar and this is effectively where you enter your commands into the text enter numbers for Excel effectively Excel is show, can show you in two places where something is so for example at the moment I'm clicking cell D3 notice this is empty if I click on that cell there cell B7 can you see it says sales here and it says sales here so depending on what you click you probably can see it here and you'll actually see it over here so where this becomes quite important is when you're looking at numbers so for example if I click on that cell there there's a hundred here and there's a hundred here so that's fairly normal if I ever go to this cell can you see the cell is showing you a number 14 but the formula bar is telling you how it got to that number so I didn't type it in I actually had a formula there so you'll see it says equals d7 times c8 so if you look closely you'll say d7 is 100 times c8 is 14 percent that's how we got to our 14 and you'll see here's the formula so the formula bar is where you can see what Excel is actually doing just to emphasize the difference between the formula bar and what you see here I'm just going to put a bigger number in here so let's put a million at the moment can you see that the million is quite difficult to read so I'm just going to go here and I'm going to format it quickly and you will learn how to do this a bit later so I'm going to say number and split it nicely so you'll see here that looks a lot better it's got spaces however notice that over here in the formula bar it still shows it next to each other so the cell is where you can tell Excel please make it human friendly so this is easy for me I don't have to count how many zeros there are but Excel doesn't need it it knows that's a million and so you'll often see that what you see here is a little bit harder to read than what you can see here next to the formula bar you'll notice that I've got something here and it's saying D7 so what you'll see is this is the name box the reason it's saying D7 is because coincidentally I happen to be on the cell that's in column D row 7 if I moved over here you'll see it says it's in column B row 7 guess what it says B7 so there's a couple of things you can do with this but just understand that what you see here is where your cursor currently is so notice if I highlight a few cells there it's saying four rows and two columns starting at F5 sometimes you can use it like that so you can just click and see where you are but let's say we know that 2000 rows down is something we need to look at we could of course scroll and spend half the day scrolling or we can go in here and I'm going to tell it go to cell D 2000 and when I click enter you'll see it takes me straight down to that cell if I want to get back up I can click in here and I'm going to say a1 and it takes me straight back up here next between the formula bar and the name box we've got a little insert function button which we'll cover later this is a very useful when you're actually now inserting functions and trying to create formulas